Hi and welcome to our e-newsletter. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the students who have been a prominent voice on my middle school newsletter over the last few weeks. We appreciate their reflections on all the great things happening around our middle school. I'd like to start my newsletter this week by talking about our assemblies. We run on a three week rotation of middle school, year level and house assemblies. Our assemblies run every Thursday with our middle school assemblies being held in the gym while our year level and house assemblies are held in specific areas around the middle school for those cohorts of students. We have a strong focus in term three on house assemblies as our houses are already preparing for our major term three house event in the house performing arts. This sees each house prepare a short performance for the rest of their peers. Our final assembly for this term is being held on Thursday the 29th of June. This assembly will be a year level assembly and it will be dedicated to acknowledging students who have had outstanding success throughout semester one. We are very proud of all our assemblies and the importance they play in helping to build our culture at the college. As always, we encourage parents to attend these assemblies. As part of this year's College Council, myself and our Senior School Assistant Principal, Mr Neil Bailey, are convening our Policy Review Subcommittee. Can I please take this opportunity to thank the many parents and staff who have offered their support of this committee. We have over 10 members and we're thrilled with the hard work and dedication that has already come into supporting the development of great policies for our college. All our college policies can be found on our website under the College tab. Can I please highlight this week our most recently ratified policy in the Digital Technologies and Network Policy. Point 5.4 of this policy states, students are not permitted to use any messaging as a form of communication with their parents or guardians during school hours unless directed to do so by a member of staff. This is an extremely important component of our policy in ensuring our staff are given every opportunity to support your students here at the college with any concerns they have before it is communicated home without our knowledge. We ask for your assistance with this matter in ensuring you discuss with your children the importance of not using their phones or iPads to make contact with you during school hours. Please be rest assured that the school will make contact with you ourselves if there are any concerns we have with your children while they are at school. We continue to ask students to come and speak to their teachers, year level leaders or heads of school if they are experiencing any issues at school. Thank you for your support in this matter. Neil and I certainly look forward to continuing to, to work with our policy review committee this year. We all want our students to get a great education and the building blocks for a great education begin with students coming to school each and every day. If students miss school regularly, they miss out on learning the fundamental skills that will set them up for success in the later years of school. There is no safe number of days for missing school. Each day a student misses puts them behind and can affect their educational outcomes. Each missed day is associated with progressively lower achievement in numeracy, writing and reading. A reminder to parents that if your child is away from school, an absence note is required to explain the absence. This can be handed into the main office or completed via compass. This is then noted on our system. Otherwise, it comes up as an unexplained absent and that is the default record for your child. It is a legal requirement from the Department of Education that all unexplained absences are followed up. Please can I ask you to check your child's compass records to ensure our records are up to date and where possible, we urge you to correct the unexplained absences you may have on compass or call the office if you are exper experiencing any difficulties. Again, we look forward for your, to your support with this matter. Thank you very much and enjoy the upcoming weeks.